After a long and tedious, let's say in parts, first chapter of this game where we are hunting down the paint stars and then we have to figure out a way to get around to where the paint star is, meet some new characters, go into the blue area a bit. I mean, it's been a really long journey, but at the end of it, we finally got up the red tower and found out that the boss of this one is Morton Koopa Jr. And usually if this were another game, I would lament the fact that they're going back to the Koopalings and it's just a complete waste of creativity. But it seems that Intelligent Systems is going to the Koopalings and actually doing something with them rather than other Nintendo products that just reuse them stock, lock, and barrel and then don't really give a shit to actually make them unique or interesting parts of the game. Intelligent seems to be doing a bit of the change to their personality. I mean, they made Morton Koopa a real fucking dumbass. I mean, they took stupidity as a central personality trait and just blew it up to like five times the amount it should be. I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, Intelligent, if anything, can do comedy even in their, you know, their not prime products. So, Morton Koopa doesn't get a lot of stage time, his plan is really stupid, and he kind of just falls dick first into finding the paint star first, because he really had no idea what he was doing. Even though it seems like he's been in the Big Red Tower a lot longer than Mario has, I'm kind of amazed that he didn't actually take the paint star and get out of there before he had the chance to get it. But then we get to the boss fight, and since this is another Paper Mario game that uses the turn-based card combat of Sticker Star, let's just say right now that every single boss fight in this game is going to suck, mostly because it uses that retarded puzzle combat of Sticker Star where you don't know what the puzzle is going in, so you have to take all the solutions with you if you're going to have a chance to get through it at all. The first time that I fought the boss, I didn't have the weakness weapon, so I got kicked out pretty damn fast. If you were able to see the puzzle before you got there, you would obviously see that the weakness is the fire extinguisher. The problem is that you actually didn't see the fire extinguisher until you got there, and then you have to go backtrack to figure out where the fire extinguisher is. Basically, you would likely get to the Morton Koopa fight not knowing that the fire extinguisher exists. And then you'd have to go around and backtrack everywhere on the map. And I mean, yeah, you haven't unlocked very much, but you've been going through the game quite a lot. It's not a small amount of area. So what I'm saying is that it's really freaking annoying because you don't know what the solution is because the solution has not actually been shown in the game yet. You have to go out and go to a wiki or something to get the freaking idea that you need the fire extinguisher. And obviously, since it's a fire extinguisher, you know that you need it to put out the fire. I don't know why Intelligent Systems keeps doing this. Like, it's a fuck-up spiraling into a completely different fuck-up that just makes it, like, almost three times as worse if you had just given us the fire extinguisher in the Crimson Tower. Like, if you're gonna do this stupid puzzle logic bullcrap, then you might as well put the solution where the frickin' boss fight is, instead of just putting it in an obscure corner of, it, like, the first area in the game. I mean, come on. But that's the problem. All the boss fights are gonna suck because Intelligent Systems keeps rolling on with its fuck-ups. Like, it doesn't give a shit about good design, and these boss fights are just the prime examples of it.